Hey guys, this is Torgo82 and welcome to my video. This is about the Hearthstone patch that was released today on December the 10th of 2013 and I'm just going to run through some of the changes that they made. So the first, uh, in the general section, you are now able to abandon one quest per day. When you abandon a quest, you'll receive a new random quest in its place. Next, a new feature, recently played opponent. Your friends list, now I can read, Display is the last person you played against, provided they were not a real ID or battle tag friend. If you had a particularly great match against someone, you can now friend them for future play. Or if you play against a real dick, you can send them hate messages and get yourself banned. New feature, players near me. You can now opt in to see other Hearthstone players on your local network in your friends list. So if you want to play LAN with your friends for some reason, you can do that. Cool. Parental controls can now disable in-game shop purchases. Nice for parents. You now have the option to keep the sound playing while the game is running in the background. That's really convenient, so if you're multitasking and playing against somebody that takes a really long time with their turns, you can uh, be doing other things and know when you're up. The amount of gold gained by winning games in play mode per day is now capped at 100. This cap does not affect gold gained through quests, arena, or achievements. There will now be an indication within the game when this gold cap is reached. This cap is intended to combat certain methods of gold acquisition that violate our terms of service. The spirit of fair play is extremely important to us, and we will continue to monitor gold acquisition activity closely to ensure a fun and enjoyable game environment for everyone. So somebody must have found a way to be getting uh, uh, gold through just maybe throwing games um, online with somebody that they knew. So you get 10 gold per three wins, so 30 wins, you get your 100 gold. If you win 30 times a day, good for you. I don't have that much time. Uh, otherwise, you get good, can still get gold through the quests, 40 gold for that, arena or achievements. Not a big deal. Ranking. The ranking play system has been completely redone. There are now month-long seasons that reset at the end of each month, there are new ranks and minion portraits for all levels of play. You earn a star for each win and lose one for each loss, and your stars determine your rank. Players who get to top rank of Legend and are in the top 10,000 players have their exact region-wide ranking displayed. There will be rewards for playing ranked mode in the future, but they were not implemented with this patch and they will be added at a future date. Changes to Arena. The number of matches you can win in Arena has increased to 12, up from 9. So you can win 12 times in a row, or as long as you don't get 3 consecutive, or 3 losses. They don't have to be consecutive. Arena rewards have been restructured. That's really vague. I want to find out more about that. I might make a second video once I find out exactly what that is. Um, so stay tuned. Subscribe to me and you'll find out more about that. Gameplay, general. All golden cards are now animated. That's cool. I didn't really care about that. I like that golden cards uh, disenchant for ten times the value of a non-golden card. Whether or not they're animated doesn't really matter to me. The visual effects of some cards have been improved. Ysera now summons her dream cards directly from the Emerald Dream. Okay. King Crush now makes a dinosauric appearance when played. Alright. Alakir, the Windlord, now rides in the battle on the Tempest itself. Hooray! It's uh, visual stuff, which is is cool. Blizzard does a good job with their visuals. I don't have any of those cards yet, so that doesn't mean anything to me. Hunter. Unleash the Hounds was reworked and now reads, Cost 4. For each minion, summon a 1-1 one, one Hound with charge. Yeah, alright. So there was entire decks designed around this card. It's no surprise that they nerfed it hard. Uh, it reads, The previous version of this card was allowed was allowing hunters to win in a single turn, starting with no minions on the board. The new version should give hunters some fun new card combinations and bolster their AoE ability. Temporarily increase the amount of dust that you get from disenchanting Unleash the Hounds, such that it is equal to the amount of dust that it would have taken to originally craft Unleash the Hounds. So basically they nerfed it. If you want to disenchant it, it's a common, so you get 40 dust for that. I would say people would be pissed because they probably got rares or better um, to correspond with that card. So disenchanting a common is probably not terribly helpful, but whatever. So again, cost four for each minion summon a 1-1 one, one hound with charge. 
Yeah, that's crazy nerf compared to before, where you get to give all of your beasts plus one, plus one, and charge. Um, where you can just wreck people in one turn. Oh well. <clears throat> Starving Buzzard is now a 2-1. It was a 2-2. Two, two. That was pretty strong um, before, but at the same time, Hunter really needs draw cards, and I don't believe it has that many of them, so I thought that was fair, um, considering that the Priest... Maybe it's changed. Uh, at a glance, it hasn't. The Priest has the one card that costs one, is a 1-3, and draws a card every time you heal a creature. Feels overpowered. Um, but I won't complain too much because my main deck is a Priest deck. Um, <clears throat> so again, under Starving Buzzard, at some ranks, Hunter was too strong against Mage, Druid, and Rogue. This change to Starving Buzzard helps even the playing field against those classes. Alright, Priest. Mind Control's mana cost is now 10, up from 8. Mind Control was frustrating to play against. Players work to summon their powerful minions and not only lose the minion, but die to that same minion the next turn. That's the nature of mind control. This change will give you a couple more turns to play with your Ragnaros. It makes sense. I mean, you have um, a lot of guys, a lot of those legendaries that are the 6, 7, 8, 9 range on some. Um, so we'll see. Nerfs me, but it sounds fair. Warlock. Flame Imp's Battle Cry now deals 3 damage, up from 2. This minor change should help bring the Warlock's early game down a small, excuse me, a small amount. We're keeping our eye on other cards that will ha that help the Warlock maintain early board advantage, and we'll make additional changes if necessary in a future patch. Temporarily increasing the amount of dust that you get from disenchanting Flame Imp, such that it is equal. Blah blah blah. They're, they nerf Flame Imp. They'll let you de it for as much as it costs, but it's common, so who cares? Neutral. Argent Commander is now a 4-2 instead of a 4-3. Argent Commander is played more often than we'd like, so we're reducing its power slightly to increase the variety of cards being played. Again, the dust thing. Uh, I believe the Argent Commander was a 4-3 with a shield um, and charge. And I think it cost 6, if I remember. And, um, okay, apparently people are playing with that a lot. Shattered Sun Cleric is now a 3-2. It was a 3-3. I saw that played a lot. Shattered Sun, Shattered Sun Cleric is keeping the creature rush decks healthy enough to avoid many board clearing spells. By reducing the health by one, this leaves Shattered Sun Cleric a little more vulnerable while still remaining strong. I don't remember exactly what they did. I think they buffed one of your other creatures, but I don't remember exactly with what. Um, anyway, the golden version of the Elite Torn Chieftain has been added to collections of those who attended BlizzCon or who purchased a virtual ticket. Um, that's cool. I don't know what that card does, but I know that's after that World of Warcraft band that exists. UI, user interface. The chat UI has received additional improvements. Your player rank, icon and number, is now visible in the friends list, the versus screen, and your battle tag in-game. The print screen key now takes a screenshot of your game and saves it to your desktop. Pretty standard. Surprised that wasn't in there before. Custom art has been added to headers for each class in the collection manager. Okay. This hoggle between casual and ranked play modes is now more explicit. It was kind of a tiny button before, but I thought it was pretty obvious. I guess not. The art has been updated for the box and pack opening screens. Hmm. Okay. Bug fixes. Alex Straza's ability I think that's a dragon. Ability to no longer counts as a healing effect when raising the target's health to 15 and will not affect armor when lowering the health to 15. Alright. Fixed an issue where True Silver Champion could trigger twice from one attack. Never saw that. Faceless Manipulator will now properly copy all buffs on a minion. That's cool. I think I had that once in an arena where it didn't work. Fixed an issue where replacing your hero with Lord Duraxis counted as a minion death. Okay, didn't know that. Fixed a visual issue where casting Mass Dispel while multiple global buffs were active was not updating the stats correctly. I use Mass Dispel a lot and I didn't notice that, but good. Fixed various issues involving the use of tracking. Uh, I believe that's a Hunter spell. Fixed an issue where fatigue damage triggering Ice Block caused the client to halt. Playing a minion during Brawl's animation no longer causes client issues. Freeze should now always properly 
cause the affected minion or hero to miss its next attack phase. Fixed various issues involving the mechanic of returning cards to a player's hand. Minions returning to the board from resurrection effects no longer trigger secrets. Fixed various issues resulting from viewing the credits. Darn! <laughs> are great! Now I can review them. The cinematic can now be viewed multiple times from the game menu. Great. Fixes various issues where twinkling sound effects would loop. Using the greater than or less than symbols while naming decks no longer causes client issues. The coin now displays the correct highlight as it enters your hand. The warning message for disenchanting cards should now appear at the appropriate times. Green highlights around minions are now updated correctly. Golden cards earned in the arena now appear with the correct border on the reward screen. And lastly, fixed multiple spelling and grammatical errors in card flavor text. Well, that's it. All the updates that were made, 12-10-2013. Hope you found this useful. Please subscribe. Um, it really lets me know that, um, that people enjoy my videos and I do a decent job. Take a look at some of my other stuff if you want to first. And uh, always leave me comments. Feel free to leave me comments to um, let me know what you think. Uh, or if there's a particular video that you'd like to see a series of. Thanks for watching. Stop the video.